Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 15, Week 5. Today, we're taking a look at Arkosh, we're taking a look at MKNY, we're taking a look at US Danny. What's going on, Danny? So, I, I feel like you're more likely to, uh, to live up to this if you say it on stream. So, just for the record, confirm or deny, um, your team this season is disbanded. Who said that? All right, so you got a Lashrak and Tinker ban from Arkosh. Interesting going for the Tinker ban there. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know if Tinker is good enough right now that you have to worry that much about it getting unanswered. Arkosh taking the Tusk this time. They do not want to see PPM playing that again. What do you mean? Oh, they steal it. I see. Yep. PPM's on the bottom side now. MKNY banning out the most boring possible two heroes, including the Lena, which is almost tempting fate in a way, because it's like, we've basically not seen Lena win at all in this tournament so far. She actually has a really bad win rate. I won with Lena. There you go. You oh, did. Wait, that, that was already two on never mind. <laughs> never mind, you didn't. Um, Kai you did. Kai did, and I think legitimately he's the only one who's won on it so far. Actually, Peter played against us, and he won. Oh, there you go. So, two X Lena wins. Yeah, that was the last game of my team. And then you quit. You 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 were like, I I I hate Travis. I hate JD. I hate Cryptic. I hate um King Pirate. I hate US Danny. And then you quit. Yes, I hate US Danny the most. That's why I left. Exactly. And then you quit, and then Travis is like, I'm quitting too. And JD was like, I'm a Cyndaquil. I don't even know how to operate a computer. And he quit too. And King Actually, Pirate... Travis that quit. That's what started it all. And then King Pirate was like, Arr, mateys! Me entire crew has deserted! It looks like our voyage is over. Our ship is sunk! Off to Davy Jones' locker with us. Does he really yeah, do the pirate voice on VC? Does he really do the buyer voice on VC? Yeah, he does. Awesome! Oh my god, dude! Like, like I said, if I, if I had known, if King Pirate was in the pool last season, like one hundred percent, being ten, for sure, <laughs> instantly. The I second I hear that, on every team I manage forever. Not that I'm managing a team this season anyway, but you know how it goes. You would have placed them for me. Radiant team back. I don't know why you would replace him, though. I guess this is a problem. I guess pause for maybe? Boot meth? Meth BTFO? That's the best I got. What the heck? Uh, he doesn't talk like a pirate. Uh oh. <laughs> but he talks. He does talk. Well, I mean, allegedly he talks. He's kind of like you. It's like, you know... Apparently, it's very rare to hear either of your voices. So, I had um. Is that true? Apparently, so I actually had recently Meth and Manoy in Jackbox. You know, you know Jackbox, what? right? I think you love Jackbox. I had Meth and Manoy in Jackbox, and both of them were muted the whole time. Manoy gave his kid the mic like for two seconds. That was it. And I Jackbox and he muted. Oh uh, well, what, we what we game? we usually didn't do. It was like we did um we did job job. That was awesome. Job job is like the best Jackbox game in like that's the not, the newer half. That's literally not true. What? It's literally push the button. I said in the the more recent half, right? That is the most recent half, right? Where is press the button? Cause, it's, cause it's like it's uh, oh, it is, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? I like the drawing one too. Oof. Champ up. We uh we don't we, we, we mostly don't do the drawing games. I had one round of it, but it was after most people left. It's we did job job. Job job is awesome. If you well, if you got guys who actually write real prompts, job job is awesome. I imagine it probably sucks if you got guys who just respond really pedantically to everything. Um because that makes yeah. the the round where you the second round part of it like real Great. boring. Um Death Prophet. Speaking of boring Pretty much every pick this pick so far is boring, except the Witch Doctor, maybe. Witch Doctor is always exciting. I always like to see a good Witch Doctor game. We saw, um, 
No, these all these heroes are fucking boring. We, no we saw a pretty good performance on the part of uh, Code Line on the Witch Doctor in one of the last games we recorded. So I, I like a Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor's fun if he's like doing things. If he's not, then he's, it sucks. But we did Job Job. We did Quick Sword. That was the only game Meth unmuted for because he was uh, talking very intensely during Quick Sword. We did one round of it. It was, um, it was Team Me versus Team Annoying. We won. Fuck you, Manoy. Uh, <laughs> dude, Manoy watches this. I, no way. No, dude. He doesn't watch it. He, he doesn't watch the games that he actively casts. You kidding me? There's no way he's looking at this. Why would he watch games he casts? I, I mean, he. he I, I don't mean that in the way he doesn't watch them later. He doesn't watch them while he's actively recording them. Oh, I see. There you go. Uh, it's a joke anyway. No way he's watching this, but I just want to say, for the record, I stomped Manoy at Quicksword. It wasn't even close. It was me, it was Meth, it was Randy, it was Runa, and we beat Manoy, TLK... Who the hell's Runa? Who? Yes. Who? Runa. Uh, apologies to anybody who thought they were going to get a very in-depth draft analysis today. What else do we do? I think uh, Mad City. I like I like Mad vs. City, but Randy yeah. hates it. He's like, yeah, it's not funny, bro. So we just don't play it because, like, uh, yeah. I guess you have to know the people bro, that you're playing with. Yeah, yeah, you probably do. And usually when we're doing Jackbox, it's like we get just random people out of like a couple of different I'm friend so groups, funny. basically, that don't tend to know each other very well. Which is always funny when you have a game where you target somebody so because funny. everybody targets me. We did the reality show one. The reality show one is good. I would like it more if the host wasn't the most annoying character ever devised by a human being. But that show is not good, or is not. I, I I've never played it, but I've seen it. It does not look fun. It's surprisingly. Yeah, dude, it's giraffe. It no, it's it's no. it's it can be funny. Giraffe. It's, yeah, giraffe is here. He's uh he's 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 stepped in on Ice's PC. Got the specter here. Pretty common hero to see in this patch. Not so much in LD2L for whatever reason, but common in this patch anyway. Would I pick specter into Death Prophet? I don't think so. Ten seconds remaining. Mm. I don't think I would do it here. I think I would. I, I think I would leave Spectre to pick at least after this because it's like. I don't think it's banned, right? I don't think. Uh, I don't think Death Ruff is even necessarily going to be the problem. And yeah, it's almost certainly not going to get banned. It hasn't really been picked at all this season. But I don't I think Death Ruff is necessarily <laughs> going to be your biggest problem. It's you've picked Spectre now into a pause one and pause two that get to counter it for free. You know. Banned it out. No, Hmm? Like is that they're not playing? They're playing like I don't know. Either they're five or they're I mean, are they're four or they're three? Or I mean, are they three is gonna play? I guess they're three could play. They're gonna either the three or the four is gonna play bounty hunter, right? It could be I bounty mid. I feel like that's useless. I guess it could. It could be bounty two, tusk three. It's probably not gonna be that because ZRS not on actually on this team, but it could be that. It's the only person I've ever seen try to do Bounty Hunter mid, and I stress the word try because it didn't work at all in Mage 2. It flopped. Yeah, I don't think anyone ever ever seen anyone make it work. Maybe I can. Yeah, maybe maybe there maybe it's gonna happen this game. Man Viper in this game is gonna be annoying for these guys to deal with. It's a good pick. But that's a weird pick. I would never expect PPM to play Viper. It might be PPM Death Prophet and uh, Kenny Lavender Viper. I think they've done Kenny Lavender Viper already this season. Okay. So. Yeah, but in the Spectre game, it's annoying. Yeah, if it's Viper 3, and I kind of hope it is, I don't know what this combo does to that. Because it's like... Witch Doctor is like 70% magic damage by volume. He's going to be able to keep Viper from getting some kills with the stun, but he's not going to be able to do anything to stop him from constantly routing Spectre. Um, I would like the like, Viper pick a lot if he had like a better support. I don't think the support is good you, you, you don't like Viper Marana? No. But do you like Viper Treant more? Ten seconds remaining. Uh, hell yeah. 
It might legitimately be Viper Treon. I would at least seriously consider it here. Uh, Mirana is not an award-winning five, but probably should be okay. You can assume, no matter what, the Alphalane is going to be slightly scuffed. I assume, at this point, unless you're going to be last picking a uh, pause four here, it's probably Witch Doctor Bounty in the support line. What carry would they pick? Remaining. What carry does NK and NY need? Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Somebody who's really cool. Well, let's not think about what carry MKNY needs until Arkosh ganging picks, and we get to see. Certainly not going to be PA or Slark. Interesting to ban PA here. They already have a break, right? That's pretty much all she offers in this matchup. Ten seconds remaining. I think it's going to be... Five seconds Do you think remaining. it's the... I guess we have to see... Thar could have been pretty solid here, I think. I it's not a great a score, on, uh, Arkosh. More than likely. I mean, it's, it, it could over. be Tusk 2, so... Nope, it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be Tusk 2 Doom 3. I don't like it, I don't like it. I think Matt has played Doom 3, like, basically every game this season so far. Has he, actually? Yeah. Every single time I've seen a, uh, a Sangangers game, it's like... A seventy-five percent chance of Matt's on Doom. It feels like Five seconds Doom's a. I think Doom's a little broken. There you go. You get demolished in lane and then just have Midas. Wraith King. Have Wraith King. That's kind of annoying that. for basically everybody on Arkash to actually play into. I still don't think the hero itself is very good, but. Uh... It's going to be hard for Doom to put any real stop to him. It's just not somebody Wraith King cares about in the slightest. And, like, I don't think he's going to kill Spectre very often. I don't think he's going to actually finish the job, but it's going to be basically impossible for Spectre to kill him. I feel like what we're going to see a lot of in this game is four people on Arkosh ganging die, and Spectre runs back to base at two health, basically. Or Spectre just doesn't get to intervene at all, perhaps. There's fucking no way Gotham 4 Bounty Hunter is good. Oof. I refuse. He's got an Iron Talon skin, though, so... Was that what it is? I don't know. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna say it is, because that's funny. Yeah, what do you think about the Iron Tusk Talon. versus DP matchup in mid? Hmm... It's going to be basically all predicated on God Snowballs, right? Like, if Tusk is the god of randomly dodging with Snowballs and just being tricky with it, I mean, if Tusk is really good at doing that, then this should be okay for him, but I don't know what he does in any other case. I if you I like DP on it. No, yeah. I would rather play the DP than the Tusk. You know, like, if you're a Snowball dodge god, then you should do okay. If you're not, it's probably going to be tough. I don't think it's going to be a stomp by any chan any uh, means. But it is going to be the sort of lane where I feel like Kitty is probably going to be looking for the first excuse to get the hell out and start ganking other lanes. Because... What is Streamlink? I don't know. What the heck? I think Gotham... Uh, not Gotham. I think Giraffe actually streamed this series. So. Gotham? Yeah, he streamed the Gotham series. G Raf did because he wasn't playing this week because Cheeseburger team did disband after much hemming and hawing and oh, they will they won't they? Yeah. Did they disband before us? I don't know. Cheeseburger thinks you did it first, so. I think it was official on the twenty seventh. It's when Travis message clear. That's two days after my birthday. Come, Sagan. Oh. Yeah, the cheeseburger disband was a very awkward situation. It didn't really seem to me like it was a decision that, like, like even Devira's allegedly still just wanted to play, as I heard it. It's just kind of cheeseburger quit, and they didn't want to bother finding a replacement for him, I guess. I don't know. Bro, just get me in. Mean, but isn't cheeseburger leaving the team and getting someone that has a more better? <sighs> I'm not, I'm not going to respond to that. Um, 
I am going to imply that most of the reason that Muertas weren't doing so hot is because the mid kept breaking down every game, but I'm not going to say that uh, that would have been an upgrade. Because that would be extremely rude. Um, I, I would be a 1k behavior score player if I said things like that. Kitty was trying to kill uh, Peter Lowe. He, he got killed last game. Death. Would have been funny. You just needed one more hero. Death was coming from above, though, so there is that. I mean, it's like I said, dude. Just give me. I'll, I'll play. I'll play three. Uh, move, move. Uh, Eternals to four. Move uh, King Pyre to two, and there you go. On one hand, you see my three. On the other hand, I'm pretty sure I have a 100% win rate when you're in the party. A much better win rate than your global win rate, actually. So, therefore, if you think about it, I'm carrying you. You're right. And there you go. Simple as. Got some, uh... But didn't you get flamed for going mech or something like that? By everyone? B not only was I not playing 3 that game, that was by you. And nobody else agreed. <laughs> that was when I was standing in, in the officials, as, uh, over math on pause 4. DP kind of owning? Yeah, even even though this is uh like I don't think this is gonna be a disaster of flame for Kitty. Um unless she is a secret tusk god, it is probably going to favor Peter, if nothing else. Do you think Kitty plays good? For Are you trying to get me uh cancelled or what? I'm just curious. Um do I think Kitty plays well? I think Kitty Like what are your expectations to... for this matchup? Like Tends to play inconsistently. I feel like sometimes you see Kitty just pop off and just go crazy and start just ruling the whole game. And, you know, like we saw that week one where she pulled out against the Ricky Blinders. Like, still probably the strongest team in this league. And Kitty kind of held them at gunpoint for a while. Really ruled the game. It didn't didn't well, win, right, but everything. that would be a Lena game, actually, funnily enough. She's the third best Lena performance in this whole season. Also, we did not see this first blood happen. Let's give the... Yep. This is just Dark Ace uh, trying to deny himself on creeps. But sometimes you well, see... Well, how did he get in that situation, though? Um, what the hell happened? I assume just got maledicted, tried to support trade, and it didn't work out. Hey, you're uh, not seeing Dark Ace on Rubik this game. It just hit me. I'm starting to see why. Damn, bro, 1k behavior score moment. The, uh, I, I do think Kitty has a lot of upside. I think when she's on, she does really, really, really well for herself. I can definitely believe that at some point she was higher MMR than, like, uh, what LD2L had. And, uh, sunk into it after a few months off or something, you know. I can buy that. Fun, right? At least so, yeah. But... I, I definitely think I think she's definitely stronger boss one than boss two. That much I can say for a fact, which is kind of the one of the issues of this specific configuration of the team. It's like never you're you're always going to be compromising something when you have a team comp that looks like Arkosh ganging. And in this specific version, I think you're sacrificing like half of Kitty and like seventy five percent of Ice. I really don't think Ice's strength is in the offlane at all. Yeah, from what I understood, Ice is just a mid player. Yeah, pretty much. Like, he has games on other roles. I think he's got the second... I mean, Gotham has the most pause three games on this team, but he can't do it because they've only got one support otherwise. So. Like, Ice is probably the second best choice after the bush uh, you could possibly run here, but it's like, I don't know, I just... Eh. I, he, I think he would tell you himself this is not his role, you know? He, he, he plays every role to some degree. You know, you can look at his stats, you can see that, but it's like... I don't think he would ever call himself a three player, like an enthusiastic three player by any stretch of the imagination. Watching that courier kill, we missed Diva D die. Let's take a look at that real quick. We're trying to get the same kill on Dark Gaze again, basically, just get a funny maledict into uh, Spectral Dagger there. Did not work out, like in the past. Certainly, I think. Uh, Already this lane isn't going great for the bush. Uh, this is going to get worse and worse as time goes on. Like, 
when Viper starts hitting that four, five, six range, it's gonna be really tough to for the bush to stay here at all. Viper? No, this I gotta see. We get, we're going Greaves. Vex is like this patch. The the three's entire job is to hold Greaves, and he hates it. Arrow on creep. Viper Greaves is not the worst thing in the world. I don't think he's the most well-suited Greaves carrier, and I think if I'm doing it, I'm not doing it first. Like, probably not as a first item. No, no, I'm playing Viper off him, I'm going right-click. Screw my team. Oh, there you go. Gotham attempts to rotate here at mid, and dies. He gambled, he lost. At least Ice is... Doing all right against the Wraith King here, just uh, in this temporary 1v1. I don't think it really sunk in that uh, they got some power play time here. Oh, maybe now. Oh, no, 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 he's stuck. Does he not have Quilling Blade? What, what's happening here? He does, he just uh, didn't use it. Maybe he was getting body blocked in by the uh, skeletons. I think he might have just been body blocked in by the skeletons and not actually by the trees here, perhaps. Just being generous here. Why are they not pushing? Radiance oh, yeah, top tower is under attack. That's fine. Waiting once. Let skeletons do it. It's actually kind of good. Dire structures are fortified. Four, four treads on the spectre. First exo on the DP is going to use it to try That's and run over Tusk here. Tusk is looking pretty dead. Awesome trying to keep. <laughs> yeah, it just uh, runs into the worst imaginable situation before he's gonna say, "Wait a minute." You know, maybe I shouldn't do that, eh? Holzer. This is kind of good that he pulled. Oh, you trying to do a Gotham inspection there? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Gotham, right? It started out being, I mean, it really just kind of started out being Kid Dynamite. That's just my Kid Dynamite voice. But then it it turned half into Gotham, and then it turned into an exaggerated racist Canadian accent. And Gotham does, like I said, I think, usually watch these, so hopefully he watches this, he gets to hear that, and he's like, that's not what I sound like. <laughs> that's just Kid kinda, Dynamite I kinda, again! I kind of heard it. kind of heard the Gotham in there. Uh, Vex says, my Kid Dynamite is 100% at... Well, he didn't say that, per se, but... <laughs> Vex says, my Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite. Oh, you know what, Nani, he has no idea what the hell he's talking about, alright? I'm just gonna pick Shadow Fiend this game, we're gonna ban Comfort Heroes, this is gonna work. We've been winning half the season. Don't know what he sounds like, so. <laughs> he sounds like that! Yeah, imagine that! Imagine exactly that! There you go, that's Kid Dynamite. Probably the biggest upside you do get on uh, going Grease first on Viper is actually the Arcane Boots. Arcane Boots, very, very strong for him. Can you do a Dark Ace impression? Um, not really. I haven't heard him much in VC. Alright, who have you heard here that could do an impression of? Alright, guys. Here's the thing. I'm... What the hell's he playing this game? That's Blue Jay. That's the wrong person. I'm just gonna play Spectre this game. And Spectre is really epic. And she's my waifu. <laughs> that's uh, that's my debush impression. I've heard that, but she does not sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just really hoping he watches this game. Here's that gets pissed off. <laughs> First Viper strike of the game, right on top of Spectre, exactly where you wanted to be, but they lose sight of her at a very inopportune time. Maybe Rather get unfortunate. The body, yeah. It's so sad. The good news is the bush is gonna walk right back into lane and take some more fire for his trouble, but you know. What's the build on Viper? Check. He's got that uh, two one two one going on. They would have killed him if he had three on poison attack. Yeah. Version. But I mean, Spectre's about to think you need maybe die. Move. Maybe. Yeah, Ooh, it's fine. close. Wow. Oh, he DP'd out. I didn't even see the TP. That was, uh... <laughs> the bush needs a change of pants after that one, baby. Oof. 
fuck was the noob doing? Looking at old brown down there, I don't know. Bro, flaming, come on. <laughs> no, no 1k behavior score activity on the cast, please. True, true, true. First tower of the game goes down. MKNY. Take a look at the net worth chart here. Death Prophet, well leading right now. Tusk isn't having a disastrous performance, but this is probably not where he wants to be. Still. Yeah, but he's also not doing anything, which is a problem, I think. I'm a little surprised Kitty has opted to mostly try and stay here. I guess trying to see if she can beat down the T1, but like you're facing the, uh, you're facing the, oh, oh. oh I great arrow. Great arrow just completely hosed any chance on the Nabbins to BPM here. I think I still would have just dropped the Walrus Punch anyway and hoped for the best from the Maledict, but... Very, very good from Dark Ace there. I wonder if Kenny Lavender is going to get shard. You want to know the easiest way to get flamed by me on an LD2 all cast? You want to? You don't want to know the easiest way to get me to do a 1K behavior score moment? Not by the shard. Yeah, pick Viper. Don't pick shard. You know, I think you're onto some. Like every time Radiance I've been playing Viper and I don't got the shard, I just feel bad. Like, yeah, the the shard is ridiculous. It's like it has a 57% global win rate for a reason. As an item, it's like. It's one of the best push items in the entire game. It's it's a Deso, like better than a Deso for like one four four gray. Single item in the game. It's great on towers. It's a great like if, in, in this situation, right? You have the DP ult, DP ult exorcism. You that's going to be based on your armor. Viper breaks your armor, that goes to a billion damage. Viper breaks your magic resistance. That also happens with your Q. You get more stacks of it with your shard. That is a. Okay. Holy. Wow. Bro. Oh my god. They had to drop so much to get DVD there. They get away with it. It's fine. That's probably not the damn you wanted, but it's going to lead to a kill anyway. There we go. Fish punch and. Witch Doctor did a thousand damage to Death Prophet. Well. That was a good. Fucking dumb on this work. I wonder what they're gonna do. Uh, I don't think they're gonna do anything. Here, here's my here's my advice. If you're in a situation like we just saw there, um, I've got a three-step program that will help you get on the board. All right, it'll help you kill that DP. Step one: buy spirit vessel. Step two: buy spirit vessel. And step three, and this is a crazy one: buy a spirit vessel. Just get oh, rid of it. Right, but don't use it. Um. You do use it, of course. Uh, buying so buying four? implies a use. Yeah, I guess you could you could say that step four if you wanted to be very specific. Like step one, get spirit vessel. Step two, get charge of spirit vessel. Step three, use it on the DP when she's in a situation where she might die. There we go. That's a bit more specific for you. Doom I think Viper uh, build like spot. Viper Dragonlance BKB shard is like just so strong. Push towers and they can't do anything to you. Yep. Maybe DP can. Even for DP, oh, it's DP's hard. DP's on their team. <laughs> yeah, even for yeah, DP, right. it's hard. She's on their team for starters, but even for DP, it's a little hard because, you know, if uh, if Viper gets. Because your, um, your lifesteal is um, determined by how much damage it does, Viper has natural inbuilt magic resistance, so it's harder to heal off of them. Viper is a little underleveled, I think. He's a little bit. Uh, it will be nice to see old Kenny get a. I guess it's fine. Bit, it wasn't me. Yeah. A bit strong here, but it's probably okay. Going for T2 bot down here. You know, Viper had the shard. Well, I mean, he couldn't possibly have the shard, but if he had the shard, this tower would already be dead, basically. It's a very ridiculously potent combo here. Shouldn't he mech his fucking DP? No. This doesn't matter. No, yeah. I have living armor. <laughs> yeah. We got the living armor. You've got, uh. But it's kind of dangerous because you don't know they're in the trees, right? You're PPM has bottle, and you do know that for a fact they're not in the trees because you can see them all on the map up here. <laughs> so, you know. Might have been an intentional thing. It might be Kenny Lavender is holding it, waiting for the rainbow TPs. The second he starts seeing them, he hits Max, so DP is fresh for the fight. 
they don't know until they're already committing that uh, DP is going to be there. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I'm sure you just five men with this lineup, right? It should be able to. Radiance. Oh, I'm sorry. Gonna just kill the hell out of Kenny Lavender now. Doom out on PPM here. PPM looking very dead. There we go. That's a couple of good kills for this lineup. That's what? a. Why? <laughs> Molsky, why? Why, Molsky? Not like this, Molsky. Are you okay? You know what the best part of Tusk getting picked again is? I get to do my stupid Tusk voice. What? What's uh, the sus step this one? What's that now? The sus step this one. He's getting close. Uh, okay. Getting kills like that is a good way to help him turn it around a little bit. What about the Spectre? What the, what's the item Spectre. Position? He's going for mm -hmm. Manta style. Going for that Manta style. He's not going to go for that flavor of the month blame mail. He saw a PVC pipe do it, and if PVC pipe can't get away with it, why would the bush? If you think about it. Hyper and uh, Bounty going to run right into each other here. That's a uh, swing of the miss on that dust, unfortunately. Can't blame it. It's a. Uh... Gotta go for it. Sniper quite cro close to the grease here. Going for a rod of Atos next. I don't know like how much I like that. Thing. Radiant are scanning. Is he an extra buckler? Well, because it builds directly into the greaves. Oh, do you need an extra. But doesn't that build into mech? Yes, you have a buckler oh, and in you the need mech, an extra and one? you have. Uh, you can see it in the in the. Uh, Wait, oh no, no, it, you don't. From Buckler, right? No, it doesn't. It used to, but not anymore. Oh. And now, now just the Grease build from Buckler. Oh, I see, I see. There you go. It used to, though, right? Yeah, it used to. Crazy. That's why the item symbol is that, because it's like uh, some crap on a shield, and uh, Viper is just gonna die now. <laughs> is that what the symbol is? Like a shield? Yeah, the. Uh, it's like. A shield with some crap coming out. Ice is just going to get away from this. This is actually a very unfortunate uh, ult on the part of Death Prophet. They have no CC to just stop the enemy team from right clicking away until uh, Wraith King gets here, and all they're getting for that is a Witch Doctor, which is not worth an Exo by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, no, it's not. They're not even going to get to push here because somebody accidentally pulled the Creep Wave. Not like they're getting anywhere anyway. They. Uh, MT2 open. Definitely not about the the Rod of Atos this game. This team does have big time catch problems. Don't get me wrong, but like just just get your shard, bro. Get your shard first. You don't need to catch the enemy team if you can just force them to fight you by just uber pushing towers, guys. Come on. Bounty hunters getting the bongos, probably for some bongo boots. Nope, never mind. He's got uh, arcs. So he's just got the drums just to uh, to play him, you know? He's a bit of a hipster. You know, when I when I picture Gotham, he just he pretty much just looks exactly like Ned Flanders' dad. Ned Flanders' has dad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't just come from nowhere someday. He didn't just come out of a test tube. You understand? Well, he's a godly man. He came from a... Uh... Yeah, 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 procreate for for recreation, yeah. Gotham is uh, a reproduction, not recreation. Gotham is not looking so good right now. I don't know why he should apologize. I don't know what he's got to apologize for, except uh, master tier bounty hunter, bro. <laughs> This guy, this guy is a, uh, you, you, you were doubting him, this guy is a serious bounty hunter player. Just not in this game, he's not that serious in this game so far. <laughs> Surprised he isn't playing techies, honestly. He finally gets the, a, a season where he really has the perfect excuse to play it whenever he wants, and he just isn't going to do that. Blue Jay has his radiance now. 
It's going to be really tough to deal with this Wraith King sitting right at the top of the net worth charts like this. It's just, again, it's the same story as last time. He's just been playing this game entirely unmolested. Okay, um, going to get a little bit happening to him now. But this is a little ill-advised. Okay, I don't know why Viper decided that the Manda ult was the Doom. They're actually going to kill Blue Jay here. Maybe this is worse. Oh! He's gonna have Blink? Oh! The Super War. Throw oh, the bats! The no! <laughs> Ouch. Well, that's I that's rough. The they used that oh, man. Team well, we'll see when the uh, team fight report comes up what exactly how worth that was, or wasn't. For whom that was worth. Dyer. Well, that report doesn't take into account the XL, right? There we go. Um, yeah, the Radiant actually made money, even though they lost two there. Which isn't terribly surprising. They know the bounty, after all. Yeah, that was rough. I'm not really sure. Like, A, I'm not sure why the Viper immediately ulted the Doom rather than a higher priority target, and B, like, he, you know, he hadn't Doomed yet, but he did one second later, and it's... Not the best game in the world for unless you're talking about DP. And the B the DP just seemed a little late. I don't know why people didn't just TP T2 top. Goodbye, Molsky. Timber. I like what the I like I, I like the bounty and the test playing together. But then they should do that more often. Yeah, there you go. Bounty. Bounty. It's a weird, it's a weird line call from the. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> I, the way Doom was postured up there, it was like they were about to, to like, just go at it, and they're on the same team. I, I was confused for a second there. Wait, wait, he bought a... Oh, he's going Lotus? Radiance middle tower the track? Under yeah. Wants to track Bounty back, which is always fun. Spectre's also just kind of farming untouched this game, but like... It would be so nice if they just killed the Wraith King again. That would be awesome. Before he has his ult. But I don't Wait, he think... Has it already? Uh... Yes, he does. I guess it's been a while. 130 seconds. Found the, oh, uh, the bounty hunter. No. I don't understand how come the test and the bounty are not playing more together. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I assume in cases like that, it's just he wants Bounty to scout for him to find where the uh, snowball should go. I feel like they could still fight. I guess they don't have uh, Spectre. Nope. They don't have Spectre in any capacity. Haunt is not up right now. And you're not going to take the bush out of a stack anyway, believe me. I like, I like D. I like D healing back there, just on the off chance that he might accidentally take one of those golems doing that. This is the fight. No reason. Yeah. They're fight. kind of prepping for it. First is going to be into Axo. Looking good. Immediately just dropping the whole world on the Death Prophet, but uh... you're right. They need a fucking spirit vest, Silver. It does not matter. <laughs> How did the Wraith King get there? Oh, he, he doomed Viper! Why? He already ulted and everything! <laughs> I know he does no damage, but like, okay. How did the Wraith King get here? That's a good question. I assume with these travel. boots of travel. Well, this sucks. Gotham is about to be in one of those, uh, like, 43% of games where Viper wins without a shard. It's good news. It means that you don't need the shard to win. Yeah, clearly. That's the, that's the lesson to take. I also like the Lincolns on PPM. I guess that's why Doom can't Doom her anymore. I guess what Doom needs now is just Ags. Just desperately needs an Ags. And not a BKB, which does absolutely nothing for him this game. This is a comically bad BKB game. The one thing you get out of it is uh, you get rid of the DP silence, and you can do that with a Lotus Orb. 
I promise you don't need it here. It doesn't do anything for you. I mean, I guess there's the Wraith King stun, but, like, you honestly kind of want the Wraith King stun. Like, it doesn't stop Viper Ult, it doesn't stop Wraith King from beating the crap out of you, it doesn't stop Ghosts. It doesn't even stop the Tusk Ice Shard, that's on your team. Goodbye, Tusk, speaking of which. More Exo? I mean, now it's... they just used it. Okay, they've uh, kind of successfully goaded PPM here a little bit. Really does not have Trust any Isaac? ability to live. And indeed, yeah. Tusk die back. Ouch. Ooh, eggs? Oh no, that's not eggs, right? Uh, no, it's not. It's not even shard anymore. Now the eggs do not on hit. What are you doing? I'm looking at Rush here. Can we get can we get Aegis on Blue Jay even though he has no chance to die? Viper knows what's up. being went for the Lotus here. Like you just you just do that if you're doing this game. You have literally no reason to get BKB here, basically. You go Lotus. I mean, you go uh, Aegis on Wraith King. You go Refresher. Yeah. You go Ag. You, you go. You go build. Yeah. There you go. You just live forever. I mean, not like Wraith King has really died, and you know he had that one encounter at top, and that was the only time this entire game he was even below half health. It felt like. Like, has, has he even reincarnated outside of that one fight, basically? I don't think so. Probably not. They already have one lane of racks down. They had a Viper. This is an incredibly easy to, but unfortunately, Viper does not have the shard and is going to get flamed by me all game, every game, because of it. That's good to it probably doesn't necessarily matter. This game is so far from being competitive at this point. It really doesn't, uh... It'd be better. If, if this game, like, was competitive at all, that would be a major glaring error on this team comp, but luckily... I like your call. I think they need their idea. That's what pressure more. The Doom got out on the Death Prophet, but, like, they can't kill her at all. Tusk is just melted again. DVD protesting with the Witch Doctor ult, but no avail. Gotham calls the G's. Peter says the bush. Kenny Lavender says GG, and we're going home. Yeah, yeah. And there we go. So the good news is, is that you know if MKNY picks Viper, they're not going to buy the shard on him, which, uh, I mean, you really should. Like, I, I, <laughs> I know they won. They won because of things that were Viper. <laughs> So that means they don't need yeah. it. There you go. Simple as. This just looked like um, this new version of Arkosh Ganging just can't coordinate. I mean, it really just felt like like it felt like the who the Doom target in every team fight was just totally random. Like Ice just kind of doomed just some person he saw when he felt like it. You can't be running Doom on your team if that's going to be what happens. You need a clear direction. I mean, what really needed to happen here is that they probably wanted to initiate in fights, and they wanted to start off by dooming DP. Especially awesome if you can get the Ags and you can get DP and the Viper, but at the very least, you want to just get the DP. You want to get rid of the DP at the start of those fights. Like, how many times did uh, PPM just kill everybody just on the grounds of just sitting there, living as much as possible with his, uh, with his suck action? Just imagine what life would have been like if he got a holy lock at this game. He would have been legitimately untouchable. <laughs> like, yeah. and not not that he needed it by any stretch of the imagination. He was doing just fine without. But I mean, it feels like Gotham seems like five pub players. That's harsh, but I think I'm going to agree with that sentiment. It feels like the last version of Arkosh you didn't like the the Kitty Ice. The Bush version of Arkosh, I felt like you didn't really see that problem coming up. I feel like shifting, I, I, I think maybe changing the horses midstream is not doing them terribly good favors here. I think maybe the older version of Arkosh was 
the one with the higher upside, especially if we're going to have these awkward sort of teething issues in a game like this. And I think that's really almost all you can say to it, aside from you're please okay buy... Please buy... Do what? But you were okay with their draft? <sighs> I'm not, like, huge on either of these drafts. I think MKNY has a better draft, but, like, AGs is an unwinnable. It's it, this is I don't think either game in this series was like won or lost entirely on the draft. I think it was just kind of on the play, unfortunately. I think then the four needs to be more on a playmaking hero. This bounty is not really that, right? I mean, they could potentially, but it's like you have the tusk, right? You have a lot of plays being made on the tusk as it stands, and even though it didn't go well for Kitty, she was at least trying it. You you certainly had that element there. Um, I think the the bounty hunter could have been fine in a world where it's like the doom didn't feel like he was out of place. The witch doctor didn't feel like he's a little like half ass late to a lot of the fights. You know, it, it, if it didn't feel like you know, it's just kind of five people running around trying mm -hmm. to vaguely come to a fight at some point. I think a better coordinated team with this same lineup probably does okay. This isn't an exceptional. Draft, but I think it's all right. I think it's like a four or five out of ten, you know. Um, on an actual out of ten scale, not on the like seven is average out of ten scale, mind you. That's not like a, a big diss. It's average. It's like a average, slightly below average, but I would say about there for draft for so by LD twelve standards. Yeah. Um, MKNY, I would say about the same, maybe like five to six. I like the Viper, but they didn't buy the shards, so he didn't have a role in this game. He just kind of existed to be a bully to Spectre and Lane, which he did at least. Um, but outside of that, he just kind of ulted people and died sometimes, and that's about it. Uh, yeah, I played okay. Just kind of, he, he had no role here didn't feel like and because of that it's like an average like if he gets if you get the shirt you go well in on the tower push then mk and y can legitimately win this game in like 20 minutes basically um yeah maybe but yeah i think every time exo's up you can push the tower right? yeah you just i mean even beyond that it's like exo pushes tower exo kills everybody because of the uh the armor break the Marana eras are ridiculously deadly. Even the Wraith King stun ridiculously deadly because it also breaks your mana resistance. You get a lot of upside off of it. Is what I'm saying. But yeah, this is just on coordination. It just did not feel like either game AG was all there. Feels like there's some sort of teething issues, and I guess it's gonna happen if you are a going to change. Like, there's definitely good reasons for it. Like, we 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 replace inhale with DVD. We moved out like we changed roles in the middle of the uh of the series we not the series but in the middle of the season we have a former pause one player who literally doesn't have a microphone so you've got a lot of things running against you i'm not saying oh this is a yeah. worthless team they don't but like they definitely need to work on that they need to work on that coordination element or they need to go back to what was working a little better for them i think i don't know Either way, as they often say, if you or somebody you know wants to learn Dota... Oh, I never told the anecdote. Okay, here it is. You ready? So, some of you uh, some of you may have seen that a couple of times on the stream we had a couple of Polish people uh, that nobody knows in LD2L would uh, suddenly fill in for a, cash, a, a cast. rather. Camille and Mariana would uh, randomly show up sometimes. And those two just got married. So, congratulations to them. They went skiing and uh, on their honeymoon, and Mary Eel broke her leg. Very rough, so this is an official get well soon, an official, uh, hopefully that's not a bad omen, and we'll see you next time for the... Hold on, hold on. Huh? An anecdote? Never mind. That's it, this recording is over.